Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my October favorites. So like always, this is everything that I've worn the most and used the most for the month of October. And I did something a little different for October. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably noticed that I have been pretty much silent there. I actually haven't been on the app in a while. I took a long social media break. I realized at the beginning of the month that I hit my nine years on YouTube. YouTube, and I just kind of had this weird moment where I was felt like I'd spent a lot of time on my phone, especially in the evenings, because once I get on Instagram, I could spend three hours responding to comments and commenting on other people and just keeping up with everyone's life in general. And I realized I was ignoring things around the house. I wasn't necessarily taking that good of care of myself and I needed to take a break. So I challenged myself to not get on the app, which was so hard. <laughs> Just being real, I feel like I'm very behind. I don't know what anyone dressed up like for Halloween. I didn't, you know, I just feel very, very out of the loop right now, but it's a little bit refreshing as well. I've read four books. Um, I took baths pretty much about three times a week, and I actually took a 20-minute bath. I didn't just get in and get out really fast. Um, I used bath salts and the whole thing. I cooked at home, and um, yeah, it's not something that I could do frequently just because because a lot of what I do is sharing online and I love doing it, but it was something that I felt I needed to do to reset and focus on other things around the house. And yeah, especially gearing up for the holiday season, which is going to be crazy, but I'm so excited about the holidays. Um, so yeah, I want to share with you guys what I've used the most. And with that, with saying that, I focused a lot on wellness. So I do have some books that I wanted to share with you guys and some more wellness-based products that I was using for bath time and things like that. But for fashion, it's still it was a hundred degree index here in a hundred degree heat index here in Florida just a couple of days ago. So we're not really getting to enjoy fall weather. It's pretty much still summer. So I haven't really been able to enjoy fall clothes or anything like that. However, I got these pants. If you remember, I showed in the Nordstrom anniversary sale haul that I did. I got a pair of rust pants from Halogen that are basically the same exact pair, but they have them in blush. Of course I had to get it. And by the way, when I was putting together all of the products that I'm showing you guys, there's a weird blush theme, which is not something that I intended, but it kind of just happened. So I'm going to go with it. And I decided to wear this sweater for the video. Um, but yeah, these are from Halogen and they're the tie waist pants. They kind of are a little high waisted. I'll insert a picture here for you guys so you can see what they look like on. But I fell in love with this style when I got the pair, the rust pair during the sale. And I knew I wanted these. These I think will be really cute for the holiday season. You can wear it with a red sweater and a pair of red pumps and look very festive. Um, you could also wear it with ivory. I wore it with a rust um, kind of ribbed mock neck shirt the other day. And yeah, they're very versatile and they are super comfortable. For shoes, I've been wearing these Mark Fisher loafers. I showed these in my last video in the office tour that I did and told you guys I've been wearing these a lot. I like these because they immediately dress up an outfit. You can wear them with dresses. You can wear them with pants. I've worn them with shorts and they're very comfortable. I love how they have this pointed toe so they're elongating, especially if you're short like I am. Um, and this is the croc embossed leather. They have them in a few different versions. I think they may even have them in suede, um, but I really like this pair a lot. I've been using a new skincare product. This is the Biosense Squalene, I think Squalene is how you say it, plus vitamin C rose oil. And I was actually searching on Sephora for a new vitamin C serum because the one that I was using from Ursa Major ran out and I wanted to try something different. And this one caught my eye. First of all, I met this brand. They had a booth up at the Create and Cultivate conference that I went to last year. And I spoke with them a little bit and they were telling me about the technology that they use in their product. And I kind of bookmarked it to go back and use it again and I ended up forgetting about it and it slipped my mind so when I saw this it kind of reminded me of that and this was a gift set that they had so they had a gift set I'll link it down below if they still have it on Sephora because it was a really great deal you got the vitamin C rose oil plus a sample size of their mask plus the full size of their lip balm for the same price as just this oil um, and the packaging's a little bit different too it's this really pretty pink which is on 
honestly what caught my attention first. Um, but yeah, I really like this a lot. I will say that I do prefer to use this at night because it is a little bit more heavy for me to use during the day. So living here in Florida, it's very hot and humid outside, but it's very hydrating. It leaves your skin looking even and bright because of the vitamin C, but not, um, it doesn't feel stripped. It feels very balanced and hydrated. I love this so much. So I've just been using about three or four drops and pressing it into my skin at night before going to bed. So I'm using this as my moisturizer and I love it. I love it so far. I definitely want to try more from this brand. If you guys have tried anything, let me know in the comments because now I'm very curious about their products. I'm planning on doing a blog post about my experience with hand tied extensions because I don't think that I've mentioned it to you guys before, but that's what type of extensions I wear. I went from wearing tape ins to hand tied and I love them because you can pull your hair up, you can pull it back and you don't ever see any of the, so I'll show you guys. Can I show you? Is it going to show up on camera? You probably can't even see it. So I'll try to do a blog post so I can actually take a picture and get Matt to help me. Um, but yes, I love them. The only downside is because I have three rows in my hair, I found that I was getting more product buildup on my scalp because I wasn't scrubbing my scalp like I used to do before I had extensions. And so the last time I went to the hair stylist, she recommended an Orbe scalp scrub for me to try, which I loved. I love Orbe products. That's the type of shampoo and conditioner that I use and they're dry texturizing spray which you guys have heard me talk about countless times I don't know what I would do without it but it was a very small bottle for the price it worked really well it had peppermint essential oils it had really nice ingredients however the bottle was tiny I'll try to put a picture here for you guys to see and I don't know I felt like for the price I wasn't getting my money's worth so I went online and searched for a good scalp scrub and I ran across this one from goop which I didn't even realize that they made products but this is the G Detox Himalayan Salt Scalp Scrub Shampoo. And what I love about this is that it's a very large container. This is 6.7 fluid ounces and it works so well. It's kind of a frothy scrub, if that makes sense. So you put it in your scalp, put a little bit of water, you mix it with water. So I dampen my hair first, scrub my scalp, and then put it with water and it immediately suds up and foams and creates a gorgeous level leather unlike the Orbe and it smells so good and works so well. After I use this, my hair, my natural hair even, is so much more shiny. It doesn't have any buildup. It just looks way, way better after using this scrub. And this is something that I want to have forever and ever and ever and tell everyone about because I've never used a scalp scrub before that works as well. And um, it's a pricey product still. It's still more on the expensive side because this is a more natural product. It's got very clean ingredients. However, I feel like it's totally worth the price. A little bit goes a long way and it works incredibly well, way better than the Orbe in my opinion, even though I will say that I did like the Orbe's applicator. It had a very thin applicator, so you were able to apply it directly to your scalp. And this one is a little bit more fussy because you have to unscrew the lid and kind of dip your hand in there. But I can get past that because this is such a better price for what you get and it just, it's amazing. The next few products are what I purchased to help inspire me to take baths. Um, I normally use the Dr. Teal's bath salts. I just get them from Target, but I wanted to buy something that was a little bit more on the pricey side to kind of inspire me to really savor the moment a little more. So I found these from Herbivore. I used their body um, their body scrub before and I really liked it. This is the Calm Soaking Salts. They're made with Himalayan sea salt. They have ylang-ylang and vanilla essential oils. They smell so good and relaxing. So I just sprinkled a little bit of this in the bath and it helps me to savor taking a bath and stay in there a little bit longer because I wanted to get my money's worth. Um, this isn't something that I would buy ongoing, um, but it is something I would like to bookmark for a gift idea, something like that. So if you're looking for a gift for someone for the holiday season, these are really nice. And then the other thing that I got is the Sagely Naturals CBD Body Oil. This is Drift and Dream. It has evening print 
primrose oil, rosehip oil, and CBD oil. Um, so it's very relaxing. I would put this on after I get out of the bath and I don't know if it does what the CBD oil claims to do. I just would feel really relaxed after using it, but I just got out of the bath so who wouldn't feel relaxed? Um, but I like it a lot. It's got great ingredients and evening primrose oil is nice to use for women's health. So I wanted to give this one a try. I also got this one from Nordstrom. It has 100 milligrams of CBD in it. So uh, I felt like it was kind of high up on the ingredient list too. I looked and it's, let me see really fast. Yeah, it's number six, seven, and eight on the ingredient list. So that's pretty high. Um, normally it would be towards the bottom, but this one's actually a really high concentration. So this next thing, if you watched my what's in my bag video, I talked about the sage essential oil um, peppermint halo roll on. So it's an essential oil blend. It's good for tension. If you get tension headaches and I just loved carrying that with me, but I ran out and so I went on their website and I saw that they had this marked as one of their best sellers. It's the pocket pharmacy. So it actually has five of their essential oil blends. It has the peppermint halo, fortify, gutsy, stress release, and pain release. And I love this so much. I'm not going to go into too many details about what each one of these does. I'll link it down below so you guys can read about it um, because it's kind of a lot of information, but I absolutely love this brand. I feel like it's just a nice quality for essential oils, which is kind of hard to find. I've used other essential oil blends in the past and they just don't feel as potent if that makes sense than this as this brand um i've even had my friends try it because i'll say here try this essential oil blend it's a peppermint it helps with headaches and it just is very relaxing and even after trying it they compare compare it to other ones that they've tried and say that these just have a really nice quality to them so yeah this is the sage i think is how you say this brand um i'll link it down below so you guys can check it out but this is the pocket pharmacy so you can put it in your purse and carry it with you and each roll-on has a different purpose i have a new tea that I wanted to share with you guys. This is from the Republic of Tea, which has been one of my favorite brands for many, many years. You can go back in my videos and see it, see me talk about it a lot, but this is their Super Adapt Tea. This one's for clarity and calm. They had different ones that had different herbs. This one has ashwagandha, which is amazing. It's an adaptogen herb, so it basically gives you what you need. So it's very calming, very soothing. This tea also has lemon balm and passion flower and licorice root. It tastes amazing. I've been having it every night before bed and and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's one of my favorites. The last thing I wanted to talk about were the two books that I recommend. The first one is The Ride of a Lifetime from Robert Iger. This is the CEO of Disney. It's an amazing, inspiring book all about his principles, how he runs a corporation like Disney. Very, very inspiring for anyone, I feel like, um, and kind of cool to hear an insight and behind the scenes of things like that. And then the next one is This Messy, Magnificent Life from Janine Roth. Janine Roth is one of my all-time favorite teachers. She was a visiting teacher at the Institute of Integrative Nutrition when I went there, and her lecture was probably my favorite out of every lecture that I um, that I heard. Her book, Women, Food, and God, is one that I recommend to almost all of my clients. So I wanted to read her newest, and this is A Field Guide to Mind, Body, and Soul. I'll read a little bit from the back. It says, it's a deep dive into what lies behind our self-criticism, whether it is about the size of our thighs, the expression of our thoughts, or the shape of our ambitions. It's about stopping the search to fix ourselves by realizing that on the other side of the me project is spaciousness, peace, and the capacity to reclaim one's power and joy. It's amazing. I highly recommend you guys checking it out. I'll link it down below in case you want to read a little more about it yourself. And yeah, I guess that's everything from this month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know how you've been in the comments. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long since I've been off of social media for the most part for the month. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know what you did to celebrate Halloween as well. I always like to hear what you guys have been up to. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if subscribe if you're not already, I would love to have you here. But I will see you guys in my next video.